Hey everybody, it's Eric with the North Shore Travelers here. Welcome to our channel, or welcome back to our channel. I would like to give you a quick tour of Sapphire Falls at Universal. It's a beautiful resort that we stayed at here while we were at Universal Studios for a couple days. Let's take a walk. All right, so as you're pulling up to the resort, this will be what you'll see. Very nice outside. And there's two options here for parking. So as you pull up to the front and you do your check-in, you can walk over to there. It'll be a self-park option, which will be up through there. It's $26 a day, or for an extra $9 per day, so $35 a day, you could do valet parking. You can come and go as you please. And all you have to do is they give you the ticket, you call down, and by the time you get down to the lobby area, they'll have your vehicle all ready for you. So here's the self-park area. And once you park your vehicle, self-park, you can walk through here. Now what I opted to do was the valet parking. It was nice, you just hop out with all your luggage. You take down your information, you pass off the key, and walk right in and get all checked in and ready for your room. So a lot of you know, we primarily do cruising content. And we decided to mix it up a little bit. So this is our first resort stay with the kids somewhere. And there's a lot of different perks that I'll explain to you later about staying at a universal resort. So this is where you'll pop out with all your luggage check into the hotel. This will be as you walk into the main lobby. There's your luggage service over here to check in. So like today we're checking out. If you want to go to the park for the day and check out at 11 or by 11, you leave your luggage over here. Then you can go to the park and come back later. So, there you check in. So, uh, all the front counter and every, everything's over here. This is where you do your check in and give you your room keys. And I'll explain to you where you would be in your room. Across the lobby here. We have the Universal Studio Store, so you can buy some of your merch here before you even go to the park or your last day, whatever you feel like buying for some of your merchandise. So there's actually quite a bit of stuff in here. Another perk of staying at a Universal Resort, being in the parks, is if you buy merchandise at the park, you can have it sent back to your hotel. And it'll be there for when you're done at the park. Those you see down here would be guest house three. So the way it works is for us, our room was 2609. So we were in guest house two, level six, and room nine. So if you're staying in guest house three, it would start with the three. And then what floor you're on would be the next digit, and then your room number would be the last two. Here's the coffee shop. 
like an Erga breakfast group, uh, assortment of coffee items, cold brews. <coughs> If you're coming here and you don't have tickets already, you can purchase everything here and pick up everything here to avoid the lines at the park. There's a really nice spiral staircase that you take to go down to the gym or all the way down to meet the water shuttle that you'll see in my other videos. It's about a six minute ride from this resort all the way over to the front gates of either Universal or Island of Adventures. So level two. Welcome fitness at our guest house three. Access the pool. Well, looks like they even have an arcade here, which luckily the kids don't know about. Otherwise, I'm sure we would have spent some time in there. Here's the arcade. We got a couple of pool tables outside. Right outside the pool area. Which I'll bring up there towards the end of the video. And here is the fitness area. extent of my workout on our vacations. One of these days I'll make it into a gym while on vacation, but not this one. Okay, there you access guest house three. That way as well. So now we're on the Bottom floor here should be the guest house three as well. The cook house, the water taxi, the resort shuttle. Elevators to get down so you don't have to take the fire staircase. Here is the cook house. We actually for breakfast. We just went to the coffee shop each morning and the kids got fruit loops or cereal and the wife got a breakfast sandwich. We all went with the coffee. Thank you. And here's some outdoor shooting from the footballs. And this is where we get the water shuttle to go over to the gates of the parks. It's actually really quick. They have uh, multiple boats running all day long. Thank you for joining. Okay, back inside. I'll take you back up to our level. 
Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna be back level four. This is the lobby. There's a strong water tavern. Right outside of there. Some seating. A big TV. You just hang out, chill. If you wanted to wait. So you're going to be ready when you're checking in to hang out here. Get a shot of the pool area. You get to get into the park an hour before normal ticket holders and then the general public. The only park that we got we're able to get in an hour early is Island of Adventures, which surprisingly we spent the majority of the day there yesterday. And the kids were just wore out. But even though they were all wore out, we came back and they wanted to swim.
giant spinning nets as we are checking out today. Here's the closet with your wall safe. And there's a hair dryer up there. Got an iron ironing board. And here's the vanity area for getting ready in the morning. Touch light. The vanity here. Bathroom. And the room. Underneath the TV. Pretty good sized drawers. And then the refrigerator. is our pool view. Uh, one thing that I'd like to point out is I don't work for Amex but one of the perks uh, I'm Amex Platinum member if you spend or book two nights or more at this resort or any of the premier resorts here and other locations two nights or more you get $200 statement credit and then we also got a $100 uh, resort credit to use anywhere. So like our food and drinks at the pool that we've had went towards that. And then Platinum members also get free upgrade, which there's our pool room view because they had it available, which I did not know until we checked in. All right, now from there, I'll take you down to the pool. swim one last time before we checked out today. Well, our cabanas you can rent and it's lifeguards on duty. The pool opens at night. We never had an issue finding either chairs at the table for when we wanted to eat or loungers for just kicking back and relaxing, having a cocktail. And they got towel huts down here, and this is where you drop them when they're done. A lot of people I've noticed they just unfortunately left their towels all on the lounge chairs when they were done. So you never knew if they were actually being used or not. But we still never had an issue with finding a lounge chair or, like I said, table and chairs. So we got the rest of them. One of them over here with the Coke Station. We actually got souvenir cups yesterday 
at the park and we get free refills all day long until I believe it's just before midnight. Um, pretty cool Jurassic Park cup, so I couldn't pass that up. There's part of the cantina. There's the hot tub which we never actually used. And then we got stairs on both sides to access getting up to the right side. this huge fire pit which we actually never got to experience but I did see they had a big movie screen set up out here at night as well and the kids were sleeping we could look out our window and they were playing movies down here at night which is pretty cool station on the other side. And this is the, the bridge that you walk across to get the guest house to. Pretty sweet view here. And then there's the arcade I pointed out earlier. She's back in here. Alright. More places to get drinks. Walk the bananas. The family's down here somewhere. The other thing, they have these cards on these chairs where you can scan to place an order. It has every chair has a number. Or your food that way, or just wait for a server to come by. Another towel hut here. They didn't ever ask for your room number or anything, it's just you come and grab a towel and when you're done, you can pass it in one of these bins. Well, this concludes my tour of Sapphire Falls Resort. I hope you enjoy, and I highly recommend staying here if you plan on going to Universal for more than a couple days. Take care.